Hello, my name is Jingonelli and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to calculate your CGPA. But before I begin off, I'm going to try to subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to be looking at uh, Carol. So calculating Carol CGPA and Carol is a BBA year one student, but in same semester two. So uh, with this information, uh, I would like to calculate the semester one C GPA or what I can call a, a GPA because before the next semester it is called a GPA. So I'm going to be looking at the weight effect. Like for example, if I told uh, you're doing particular course units in a particular semester, what is the weight effect of those course units? So before I go into the weight effect, I'm going to uh, g give you an intro of different grades and uh, what they mean. So if you're having 80 plus, that's A, which is equal to 5. 75 to 79 is equal to B plus, which is a 4.5. Then 70 to 75 is a B, which is equal to 4. 65 to 69 is a C plus, which is equal to uh, 33.4. Sorry, 3.5. Then 60 to 64 is a C, which is equal to 3. 55 to 59 is a D plus, which is equal to 2.5. 50 to 54 is a D, which is equal to 2. Then 45 to 49 is an E, which is equal to 1.5. And then I'm having a 40 to 44, which is equal to E minus, which is a, a 1. And a below 40, that's F, which is equal to 0. So if at all in a particular semester, Carol gets, uh, that this is same one, Carol gets, uh, uh, no, like this, uh, this is, these are the total weights of the, of the semester. ICT is having five, accounting uh, four, FM four, POM three, and uh, below three. So if at all, that's the, those are the weights, the credit units for those particular, uh, course units, the ICT, accounting, FM, POM, and below, and then, uh, taking an assumption that she had gotten, uh, in ICT she had gotten 84, which is equal to a 5. So meaning if I want to calculate her, her, uh, her, uh, her like the, the weight effect, it's going to be uh, 5 out of 5 times 5. Now this 5 is the total weight and uh, uh, the 5 is the score she got out of the total grade of uh, 5, whereby 80, 80 plus is a uh, is equal to five so if at all she had gotten uh, uh, a, seven, a 72 in fm meaning that this uh, the, the to, to 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 get to know her weight effect it's going to be four out of the total which is a five times four four is the total weight so this is the weight of the unit which is fm which will give me 3.5 meaning that in fm as a particular unit out of the total four because if at all she had gotten an 80 she would have gotten four but she got a uh, 72 which is a 4 but in calculating the weight of that uh, uh in, in calculating the weight effect the weight effect what she got in that particular course unit it's a 4 out of 5 uh, times 4 which, which is giving me 3.5 meaning that she got 3.5 in fm and uh, then uh ict assuming that she got a 5 which is 80 then accounting uh, upon calculating she got a 3 uh, FM, we already got the, uh, this is supposed to be 3.5, we already got a 3.5, and then, uh, POM, she got a 2, and then below she got 3, giving me a total, when I added the 3, the 3 plus 2, uh, plus, uh, the 3.5, 3.5, plus the 3, and then, uh, plus the 5, I'm going to get 16.2, so assuming, that semester when she had uh, uh when they add uh, ict accounting fm pom and below she got 16.2 so uh meaning that her gpa remember it's not accumulating because it's semester one so her gpa which is the grade point average will be 60 16.2 uh divided by uh 19 times five now where does the 19 come from the 19 comes from the total of all these course units 
the 3 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 you get 19 meaning out of out of the 19 she got 16.2 as a weight and then time was the 5 which is going to give me a 4.5 so semester one she got a, a cgpa of 4 of 4.3 so meaning this is our gpa so for semester two that's when we are calculating the cgpa which is accumulating so upon her going to the notes board uh seeing her results or maybe she would have uh maybe she she used that student portal to see her results so the credit units of that semester assuming that they also amount to 19 and uh like what did she get what did what did she get so upon going uh, upon uh, seeing the results on the notes board she had gotten maybe in a particular course unit uh, 78 which is equal to 4.5 73 which is equal to 4 77 which is uh, 4.5 then 82 which is equal to 5 and even a 91 which is equal to 5 so that's what she saw on the notes board then what they do they add they add all this so when you see this on your uh, on, uh, of the results in a particular semester uh, you just add them after adding them which is uh, the total of 23 so if that's the total of 20, 23 and uh, you know that uh, you're dealing with uh, credit units that amount to 19 or any other figure uh, of that particular semester depending on the course units you're having so you determining a CGPA for semester 1 and semester 2 it's going to be this 23 uh divide by 25 because one, once i add now uh this these marks are direct meaning that uh if i told her she got 80s throughout it would have been five 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 and then the total the full total will be a 25 so that's why here i'm saying 23 divided by 25 uh which is the total grade of the five course units so time was the weight the weight of all the, the the units which is the total credit uh total credit unit so that uh, now i'm changing this in terms of the weight the weight uh the weight of the course units which is going to give me 17.4 after getting that so it's going to be 17.48 divided by the 19 times five so this is going to be the gpa of semester two so now once i want now i want to match up semester and semester two it's going to be the 4.3 previous which i got in semester one plus the 4.6 which i've gotten in semester two divide by two giving me a cgpa of 4.5 4.49 sorry 4.45 so now her new uh cgpa would be uh four point four point four five so that's how they keep on calculating the cgpa so if at all she gets a 4.4 uh, between 4.4 and 5 that is a first class and if at all she gets a 3.6 uh, to 4.39 that is a second class uh, upper division and then uh, if at all she gets 2.80 uh, to 3.59 that is a second class lower division so uh, that's it anything below that that's a pass so that is it thank you so much for listening in make sure you subscribe to the channel